hello everyone welcome back to my channel and I know most of you guys knows know this kind of plant to be honest I do not know the name of this plant but I have it and I like this kind of plant uh, I think that was uh, three weeks ago or almost one month I cut this off I cut the entire uh, branches of the plant because it's already drying because winter is coming so I cut it off and now it's growing back but it's still inside the house because it's winter so I can see something inside here that one the flowers the flower yep so pretty and there is one here that's why I, that one I did not cut it off because it has flower so what did i do with those that i prone from this plant the branches that i cut it off i did not throw it away what i did is to put it in the water i soak it in the water and this this is the result this that was already three weeks and it looks like this and you know what some of it really has roots as you can see see that guys i just uh try to try to experiment it and i got a positive result see have you ever tried this one guys and this one still green but i did not see any roots on it and i believe it will grow so but the one that has roots already i have and it has flowers guys did you see it see that flower see that one see look it has it is only one uh one uh family one uh vine but look the color is totally different that's why this kind of plant to really uh, flower really amazed me and I want to keep planting on about uh, this kind of flowers with different colors someday I gonna have a lot of colors with this kind of plant look at this one it looks dry see it looks dead but it has one root in it and I don't want to throw it see that one that white one that is the root so i don't want to throw it so and so i put all the uh, the cuttings i put it all here and some did not really make roots did not root did not create roots and so of course i throw them away and these are the only things that i keep with the one that has roots so now what i'm going to do this one is to put in here in this i put it here in the water it has only water because as an experiment only so i will observe if it will survive in the water because i use water for my strawberry but i i feel that it won't survive in the water because i did not see any kind of uh i mean i did not put any kind of fertilizer or like like uh, they use in hydroponics and my strawberry that i planted in the pot with soil it looks like it's uh, growing well so Yeah, it's growing well. So what I did with the with the plant with the strawberry that I planted it here, what I did is, uh, I I transferred it in the soil. So I I'm going to show it to you right now. I'm going to show it to you. So, be with me. This uh. I do not know this kind of flower I am holding because it's been I think two weeks already and it still look fresh it still looks uh, still look fresh you know 
And I don't have all this kind of flower. Very pretty. See that? And this is my little garden over here. Actually, guys, I have a raccoon up there, the outside there. We got we got we caught a raccoon second raccoon last uh, last night, and still there. I'm waiting for my mystery to come home tonight, so he can send it back to the forest. So this is my little garden over here. First, I'm going to show you my strawberry. This is the wall where I transferred my strawberry and I hope it will survive and I I plant uh, with the tomatoes I took it from here that one and hope everything will go to grow together there and you might ask what is this color blue in in the mill well this is just an example if you have a a garden in a in a big container you can uh put uh like a tube and make a hole like what i did can you see the hole there yeah uh you have to do it make also an uh, 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 inside or under the whole the whole uh, battle you have to make lots of holes you know why because it's for the uh, earthworm and inside it we have to put the I don't know if you can see it it is uh, you can put the kitchen waste there like vegetables so it is uh, where the earthworm will keep on coming in and coming out for the food so if they want to eat they have to go there and then go back in the soil and because the worm is earthworm is very helpful for the for the plants they are like the the architect of the soil <laughs> i do not know how you call it but i want to have earthworm all in the garden and yes this is my uh, tomato and this one is a celery i don't think it, it will survive i just Put some seeds of the apple there apple and this one uh, I do not know this kind of plant I know that I know most of you knows this and this is the chili the one is a chili and this one is a garlic this one is a garlic yes that one's a garlic I just use this bottle water this bottle of water so it won't uh, uh, bend down so it's starting to bend down yes I do not know maybe I will cut that one I do not know if these leaves can be good for cooking I'm not sure about that what do you think guys can do you think I can use it for cooking the leaves of the garlic and I planted also in it uh, this uh, we call it spinach it's uh, in Philippines it's called alugbate it's the green one alugbate yes that's it I hope it will grow I think this one is uh, what do you call it coriander I do not know but I think my strawberry is really doing well see that guys and then if the straw this is the runner this one that is like i will create another branch and they call it a runner if it will have like that then i can uh, replant it and i i wanted to plant uh, strawberry in my front yard because strawberry guys if you plant it in the in the ground it will last for years and during the winter it will just sleep but during summer it will grow again that's what i like uh, with the strawberry and i believe someday i gonna taste my the product of my garden so guys let's go back to the 
to the other side. Oh, there is another one. I want to show you. This is my my uh, bitter lemon. Uh, how do you call that? Um, ampalaya. Yes, ampalaya. Then it's climbing up there, but it looks like that. It's uh, feeling cold. <laughs> see they do there it's not look uh, it doesn't look healthy but for sure it will be fine and i'm plan to put some christmas tree decors on the tree together with the ampalaya so here's the recon there i do not know if you can see it so guys let's go back to inside to the other to the living room so i can continue my plants to show it to you my flower So, this one has a moss, guys. It has moss, 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 moss. <laughs> it has a moss, guys. It's it's really growing. So, maybe I will use the other one first. So, what will I do with this one? This one has a flower. I will put another one. Sorry. And then I wrap it. this one and then I'm gonna put it here I have to remove that stone Don't spoil the roots. Don't spoil the roots. It's hard. It's hard. Well, I think it's fine. Okay, guys. I hope it doesn't spoil the roots. So the roots get broken. Now, I had to put it here. That one has a little... Uh, Moose that is growing in it on the stone, it stick on the stone, it means it's growing. So just keep it like that, let the moose grow together. 
See? That's it now. That's the plant. So put stones on it. I did not make it uh, nicely so I hope it will survive guys this is just an experiment so I hope it will survive okay so here it is see so I will make the other one I need st I still need more bottles because still has it has still a lot of plants that I'm going to put in the bottle. So I think that's enough. And then I'm gonna wrap with this one. Careful with the roots. And then you can put it this one. See that? Just to hold it. And then it has a remote on. Oh no, you have to put it up. Oh yeah. So we have to put the roots very gently. Do not break the roots as possible. Now I see some one roots. Oh no, lots of roots is already holding. So it has a hole there in the middle. It has hole in the middle, guys. So let the root pass through the hole. Kerap naman ito eh. Kerap ba magawa ng video guys? Ayan. There you go. There you go. There. And then this one. Bring it down. This one. Then it will keep the plants from moving. And then add some stones keep it st stable put little stones around it so the plant will keep not keep on moving my stone is not enough well anyway I think that's good now I will just use the one with the mousse and I'm sure it's 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 just fine. There you go. It doesn't look attractive, but it's okay. 
well guys thank you so much for watching that's all i can show you this is a very long video